So what I have here in my hot little hands are results. What do you make of this? Well, I can make a debrouche or a paradactyl. <laughs> So what are we doing today, Douglas? We're going to take over the world. Same thing we do every day. What are we going to do to this poor thing? Hopefully, we're going to do nothing. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to... We're going to do absolutely nothing. We're going to measure it and then do nothing with it. <laughs> do nothing with it. So we're going to go um, and check the valves. We've got how many miles in this now? We've got... 33,000 miles. And this will be... Pull the tank, pull the uh, uh, coil packs. Uh, valve cover, feeler gauges, everything looks good, put it back together and we go get some lunch. That's a great plan. Let's see if it works out for him. There's your valve train. All right, folks, so here's a really cool thing about this bike. So it's a shim over bucket. So there are little teeny discs that sit between the rocker arm and the valve, top of the valve. You have to add or subtract thickness to the shims, depending on what the measurement is. If you have to adjust them on this bike, on the modern classics, the rocker arms unbolt. There's four bolts here, one, two, three, four, and the whole rocker arm assembly comes off. Camshaft stays in the bike, so you don't have a timing issue or anything. So you don't have to mess with the timing. You don't have to worry about four bolts come right out. All right. So here's the tricky part. We have to get the we have to get the cams on bottom dead center. Right now we got pressure on the intake, so we have to spin the engine. So the easiest way to do that is pull the spark plugs out, put it in six gear. Yep. And spin in the, the wheel. engine. Join us tomorrow. It's oil change day. Nice, um, nice large gap inside there for your socket tee. Yep. Thin wall socket, not required. Like on the BMW. Seven Newton meters. Seven to 57. <laughs> Plus or minus. Plus. Here's the moment of truth where he looks judgingly at the spark plug cathode and anode. It's a little dark. It's not bad. No, it looks really good. It's not bad. It should be a tan color, and it's not burning or anything. That's perfect. Perfect. Let's take them to stairs. That that's just that's beautiful. It's not too bad. No, it's very very good. So you're watching this? Yeah. You want it to be like yes, this? Yes. 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 Right now yeah. it this is. This will be high. So you need them both to be down. Ugh. Compression. Right there. This feels too tight. Not only can he judge torque, he can measure gaps <laughs> by feel. It's like that much. You see that? That much. That's what it is. So these messy feeler gauges are called go no go gauges. And they actually have two thicknesses on them. You can see them right in there. So if it slides on one and then sticks on the other, you're somewhere between those two numbers. Mm -hmm. Now I just need paper size. <laughs> so 10 should go and 15 should. Okay, so it's bigger than 10. We're on the right track. Thank you. <laughs> and a 0.15 won't fit. So it's between 0.10 and 0.15. Yeah. Okay, so inner left exhaust is like 0.18. It's between 0.15 and 0.2. And the outer exhaust, left side, is between 0.1 and 0.15, so I think we're good there. Exhaust left outer. outer. Left side inner. Left inner exhaust. Uh -huh. Exhaust between 0.15 and 0.2. I would say those are both within spec. Do that again, so 0.1. Outer. This is right side outer exhaust. Mm -hmm. Is greater than 0.15 mm -hmm. and less than 50 newton meters. 
Well, that less than 0.2. Okay. So this is equivalent to the other side. So okay. right side inner exhaust. Yep. Greater than 0.15. Mm -hmm. Less than 0.2. So your exhaust valve train looks really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's the critical ones, right? If the exhaust valves, the, the, the valve seats will tend to pound into the head and it will decrease the, uh, it'll decrease the gap on the rocker arm. And so generally these will tighten up with time. And if they get too tight, uh, the valve doesn't close all the way and it burns about. So if you can go to the top side of the spec, which I think we are, I think we're about 0.18, right? Yeah, the spec is 0.18 and we're between 15 and 20. Yeah. So I think we're really good on exhaust valve. Okay, so now we're going to right side intake outer. In right side intake outer is greater than 0 0.05 and less than 0.1. So if I was to guess, we're at like 0 0.8. That's great. 0 0.7. The spec is 05 to 13. Okay. That's right in there. All right, right side inner intake. Yep. Less than 05. Anything smaller than this? It's a stuff issue. So what I have here in my hot little hands, our specs, our results. What do you make of this? What make of a contest? Well, I can make a debruch or a paradactyl. <laughs> we have eight valves. A sticker. <laughs> How many of them were in spec? How many of them were out of spec? And in which way were they out of spec? We're giving away this mechanic. <laughs> All right, here's our results. It's worth absolutely buckus. <laughs> So here's our results. The exhaust is all spot on. Spot on. Exhaust spec is 0, .0. Exhaust is 08 point, to 18. 08 to 18. And we're be about 18. It's between 15 and 20, which is good. Well, some, of them are, some of them are between 10 and 15. Oh, okay. Or one of them. One of them is great. So the other, a little, on, a little on the big side. And that's good. That's good for an exhaust valve. And on the intake, we're a little tight. It is supposed to be between uh, 05 and 13. And our intakes are... A little, a little tight on two of the four valves on the intake. One on each side. Yeah. So if anyone would like to buy a T120, then I ain't doing this again. <laughs> In theory, we shouldn't have to. We should only have to do it once. And then once but we probably time. should correct those two probably should. intake when we're feeling frisky. Right. For now, but I think... But they do move. They're not, they're not locked up. Yeah, it's, they're less than 0.0. Three eight. That's what all it determines. The less, but they do have a little bit of gap in them. But it's just two of them, one on each side. Um, nothing to be concerned about. If it was an exhaust valve that was tight, I'd be worried about it. So I, at this point, I'm leaving. <laughs> and, and Scott. If anybody wants to buy a T one twenty. Yeah. Now this is a real test. This was the easy part. Now can we reassemble? Can we put this back together again? So here's what I propose. Will you marry me? No. <laughs> I propose that we go buy spark plugs and get lunch. I'm liking that idea. And then we come back and reassemble on a full stomach. Okay. Pontificating coffee. <laughs> 2,000 years later. So the Triumph runs a grooved gasket. So it's a rubber gasket that fits in here. And it's pretty stuck down and Probably sealing pretty good, so I'm going to try to put this together, leaving the gasket in place. Wow. My calibrated torque arm. He's using a torque wrench. I don't know if you can hear the clicks. <laughs> there we go. That one's good. Two clicks. Oh, two clicks? Okay. <laughs> right now, Wes is going, just buy a dark wrench. Yeah, 14. Oh, that's not a lot. Newton meters. Newton meters? That's hardly any. Yeah, I was supposed to taste it. Yeah, I'm running a little lean. Did <laughs> it go all the way down? Wow. The frequency generated by little girls. It's almost at the edge of human hearing. You notice we're not using Loctite because this is a gentleman's motorcycle. A gentleman's motorcycle does not need Loctite.
Say welcome, Amen, Moto viewers. Welcome, Amen, Moto viewers. All right, so what we did today—it's at least a 10 horsepower improvement, I think. I was just thinking to myself, this sure feels slightly to me. Just the plugs you're talking about, right? <laughs> just giving it attention. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Five for the plugs. Five for just touching it. That there's Purdy motorcycle. You got makes all the right noises. It's a fun day today. We. Uh, we pulled the valve cover off his Bonneville just to check the valves. Um, I was more curious just to see how much work it is. And now that I know what to do, <laughs> pull this stupid high pressure line off of the uh, throttle bodies now. Not such a terribly bad job. It was nice to get in there and poke around a little bit, see how the valve train works. So we're off to Two Wheels World because Two Wheels World, great staff there, very friendly. Very relaxed, very accommodating. It's nice just to go there and hang out. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's why we ride motorcycles. <laughs> right there, the sheer joy of riding a motorcycle. I'm 12 years old again. Yeah, the more time I spend on the T120, the more I get it. It's really just a wonderful motorcycle. So if you're in South Florida and you're looking for a Triumph, this is a wonderful place. All right, folks, there we are. Two wheels world, we're going inside. 